I'm here in Copenhagen, where I'm going to eat at what's recently been called the best restaurant in the world, Noma. And not only am I going to eat 20 or 30 courses here, or whatever the standard is, uh, I'm going to get to hang out a bit and chat with Rene Retsebi, who is the founding chef of Noma, has been here for seven years and is now, I guess, the best chef in the world. 6.30, two tables. We have a four top on table six in the name of Johnny Elsö, 12 course. They wanted to drink beer to the, to the food. Yeah. You. Those were the reservations. Okay. So it's going to be busy, yeah? We're going to be quite busy, plus we have this big table here. Yeah. Uh, of the two top, which needs a lot of attention. Plus we're changing our main course. All right, let's do it, guys. Yeah. 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 What does Nordic cuisine mean to you? Where, how did you, because you're redefining it or you're defining it, really. Well, we don't have the recipe for what is the Nordic cuisine. We are giving our version of it. And after seven years, we learned some things, of course. And um, I would say that right now, we know that much that our cuisine is a, is a cuisine that has some type of pact with nature. It's incorporating ex extreme seasonality. If you go to the core of our cuisine, uh, it should always reflect time and place. That's the essence of everything that we do. If there are core ingredients, what might they be? What are the things that to you symbolize? Well, vegetables is a bigger part of our cuisine than, than you would expect a gastronomical cuisine to be, where usually it involves a lot of protein fish and caviar and foie gras and so on. Vegetables take more space in our cuisine, plants, wildlife, mushrooms, <coughs> berries, and especially uh, wild nature it has a presence that's very, very strong and influential in, I would say, almost all the dishes. You said to me before that in, in Copenhagen these days, if you don't have, if a restaurant doesn't have a full-time forager, it's not <laughs> considered serious. In the past seven years, uh, we've gone from a, from a shift in cuisine where you, as a, with your fellow chef, you discussed foie gras suppliers yes. onto what forager do you use? Where, uh, where do you get your fiddlehead ferns? Where do you get your fiddlehead? Where do you get your beech nuts and so on and so on from? And it's, I mean, with a touch of irony said to it, it's almost considered not serious if you don't have a forager attached to your restaurant. And we do as well, we have three foragers. Wow. Yeah, because we, we have a lot of wild things on the menu and we do forage a lot of our, uh, ourselves as well. So most people look at this and see weeds. Well, essentially it is weeds. Yeah. <laughs> but you see dinner. This is everywhere. Yeah, we call that vetch. A vetch, okay. It's, it is a type of wild pea that tastes like a mushroom. Mm. Only the flower or no, the green too? The green too. Now they are of course starting to be a little bit uh, woody, but still it, it has a very raw mushroom flavor. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah. It's great. You've been running the show here for seven years. You started when you were 24, Five. 25. Um, you had incredible success, two Michelin stars, one of the better known restaurants in Scandinavia, and now suddenly you're named the best restaurant in the world, which we agree is a bizarre concept, but nevertheless. It's there. There it is. Yeah. It's you, it's your restaurant. How does this change things for you? What does it mean to you? To me personally, I honestly I haven't had time to even realize it or think about it, but it really does bring forward a whole nation's cuisine and it can give a lot of positive energy to not only you know our restaurant but all other restaurants, showing that well it happened. It can happen. If you look a year in advance, it sounds like you're just as excited about the year coming up as you are about the year that just finished. For sure. Yeah. I'm for sure. There's, right now, 
it feels like we've been seven years. We've been in a in a in a, a hurricane, and right now we're in the center of it, where it's quite calm and peaceful somehow. It feels it feels great, and uh, and uh, I, I I see so positively on 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 the future.